everyone. Uh, today let us check uh, how to write a instead of trigger on a view. So as we know that it is uh, difficult to, uh, it's very difficult to insert record in a view, update a view uh, in certain circumstances when you are, uh, when you are having uh, joined two tables with uh, one too many. There are employee master and employee salary, and for each employee master record, there are many employee salary records. So that they, it's very it's difficult to update or insert into such things. So we will just create an instead of trigger, which will which will actually which will actually what to do. When you attempt to insert in a view, it will just uh, not insert in the view. It will just fire the trigger. And when, I, when, when you are using the instead of clause, it is uh, just it's a kind of redirection where it is stopping the insert statement, insert uh, activity, and it's just executing what you are writing inside, inside the trigger. So first, we will just create one what uh, uh, view. So the create or replace view um, emp cell view as select uh, we are taking two table one is employee master let us write this one employee master and uh, this is lsa and employee salary LSP. So select uh, from employee master EMP code and dot EMP name and from employee salary month year. The column name is P month year and we dot gross payment from employee master a employee salary b where a sorry b dot emp code equal to a dot emp code specifically we should use uh, uh, primary key i'm not using this one emp id so i'll just execute this one So after executing let let us run this one. So I've queried the view and these are the four columns. So now what will I do? I'll just create the trigger. Uh, before creating the trigger, let us uh, do some absurd jobs like inserting into the view or updating the view. I use an insert statement. Uh, I'm just uh, see cannot modify a column which maps to non-key preserved tables. As I told you, there are multi one too many. There are multiple records uh, on on the base table employee salary based on uh, uh, for each employee master record. So this is for this error is for that. There are key preserve table, multiple in MP code in employee salary for each one MP code in employee master. So this is the error. Now so we will do the same thing here. Okay, the same error is coming. So now I'll just create the trigger and uh, I just uh, for saving time I have already written the trigger and just copy paste it. This is a trigger. Okay, I have to add something more into this. So this is a trigger. What it is doing, it is uh, instead of insert or update or uh, uh, update on EMP cell view. EMP cell view is my view. Uh, what I'm doing, it's not inserting, it's just executing this tool statement. Update employee master, set EMP name equal to new EMP name, where EMP code equal to this. Update employee salary, where set cross pay equal to new cross pay, where EMP code equal to new EMP code, and pay month here equal to new pay month here. You can also put it old, doesn't matter. 
uh, let, let it be new just I'm not experimenting with this uh, after this one I'll just put a SQL statement SQL person not found statement if SQL person not found on this one if the first update employee master does not work I'll just put a DBMS output output not put line no such record exist okay so uh, else else means if it's found then let's do this one let's update the employee salary and I'm not concerned about if whether it is found in for that pay month year or I'm just searching for the employee and if it's not found I'm printing this message if it's found record what I'm going to write successfully updated done uh, let's recheck it just and just let me copy this one here okay so refresh it it's next still not coming Okay. What's the name of the trigger? Imp sal view trick. So here it is. Uh, now let us go to the insert statement and now try to attempt. Now, now see, this is the output buffer. I have to put the DBMS output so the message will come here. So let us check the record once again. Okay. Let us run this one. Where is where the select statement gone? Huh. This is S24. So I am running in the same session so that I have no problem while checking the record again. Because I am not going to commit. I will just go to this one. See. It's Palun Mighty already. So I will just with pal almighty and the value should be say 2958 done it output record successfully updated okay see this main change for this one is coming from this trig emp must there is a trigger there so it's coming from there and now it should be palan palan it should be palan mighty and it should be 2958 the cross pay Yes, it's far almighty and it is 2958 as you can see the record for September 2008. So let us go to this one 11 make it Jalan Samir mighty and make it 2558 for the month 11 2008 done it for S24 for employee code so name is changed because I have it's for the it, it, it will come it is a select statement for it will be for all the code not for this one but for but see this uh, cross pay because employee name is uh, it's consist of in employee master so, and it's joined with employee salary now for salary say cross pay is changed only for the month 11 2008 which is 2558 so see I am um, doing executing the insert statement but it is updating as per, as it is in the trigger so I'll just revert it back Palan Mighty 11 so 2952 
let's check again it's star and mighty and it is 2952 it's been done now we will go to the update one uh, let's say take another month 12 I'll go to the update statement because I've given instead or uh, insert or update so make it pylon <coughs> update Name is been changed to Coil and Mighty and 12, 2008 gives 2957. So, as you can see, uh, let us go to the trigger again and okay, let us check the DBMS output. Now, what we will do, I'll just make another change, I'll just make it S240. So, let's check it. See, no such record exists. Okay, so they say do the same thing with this 2044. Okay. Now let's check the here is a little in in case of insert statement okay they see object statement is based on condition so if uh, values conditions are correct you see there is a message here one row updated in this second and if you go to the object statement you, has, you will find this record successfully updated and also anything that we change which is from the trigger trig ump underscore must as you can see here this one but see if we do one thing you give, give an absurd employee record suppose zero so it will do nothing it will just not execute anything zero was updated and the output there is no message so this one will only work for this one for this school person not found if it uh, enters into the trigger if it uh, then it will work because it the condition does not satisfy if the trigger view is not updated at all then it will not work so this is about instead of insert or update trigger and you can see you can manipulate you can do anything inside you can uh, update or in, insert into other tables uh, update other tables and also you can update individually the base tables here or insert into the base tables uh, I cannot show you that because my tables are very long there are lots of fields I can I have not taken initially I have, should have taken a small tables with small columns so that, that I can show you in such statement also so that's all about how can you can update your views or insert into views thank you very much do subscribe to my channel if you like my video to press to the like button thank you very much